Pastor Taylor here, Christ Pewaukee, with campuses in Wauwatosa and Aaron. It must have been sad as Jesus watched people leave him. It was just about his teaching on himself as the bread of life. He was offering himself to people to believe, to eat, and to live forever. And instead of believing and consuming him as the bread of life, they left. They said, this is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? And really the answer was, I can't. And sadly, that's nothing new. Today, people still leave Jesus because of what he teaches. He preaches and teaches the law and gospel through voices like mine. He preaches that uh, we're entirely sinful, deserving of hell, and he preaches through us the saving gospel of what he came to do. And that offends people. And they walk. They leave. We tell rich people what Jesus told rich people, that a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. People hear that and they walk. It's hard to accept. People come to Jesus who are hurting physically and sometimes the only thing we can say is what Jesus said to people. My grace is sufficient for you. So you mean to tell me that Jesus can't perform a miracle and take this away tomorrow? Well, well, maybe not. People hear that and they're offended by it. And they leave. People come to Jesus with many troubles. And sometimes the only answer that Jesus has to give them through us is that in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, Jesus says, I have overcome the world. People's response, really? That's it? I'm out. As we come to know Jesus and listen to him preach and teach, the same thing probably happens to us. We listen and we get to know him. And sometimes these are really hard teachings to swallow, especially when our life is challenging. And then that question is posed to us, the the question that he posed, Jesus did, to his disciples after people were leaving. You don't really want to leave too, do you? And the beauty of that in the Greek, that question is that Jesus expected a no answer. He expected and he wanted his disciples to say exactly what Peter said. No, Lord, I'm not going anywhere, Lord. You have the words of everlasting life, Lord. You are the the Son of God, the Messiah. And that's the answer God wants to work in us. And he does work in us because he wants you to stay with him. With him, He, he doesn't want you to leave. He couldn't stand the thought of you leaving his side. And he couldn't stand the thought of it so much that he left heaven for you to come and die on a cross and and take away your sins and be your savior. And in his grace, Jesus couldn't stand the thought of being without you so that he gave you his spirit through his word, through the sacraments, to give you faith and to strengthen that faith so you could come to him and you stay with him. Leave, Lord? Never. I want to be with you now and forever. Lesson from John chapter 6, beginning at verse 60. On hearing it, many of his disciples said, This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Yet, there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and would, and who would betray him. Then he went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled him. From this time on, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. That was the word of the Lord.